Hey, uh, it is Monday, February 7th here in the ONTV studio. I'm Ian Locke, Executive Director at Ori Neighborhood Television for the 12th Annual ONTV Food Drive. On Monday, February 7th, ONTV kicked off its week-long food drive benefiting the Oxford Orion Fish Food Pantry. Now in its 12th year, the food drive traditionally invited residents to come to the Orion Center to drop off food on a single Saturday, but due to the COVID pandemic, organizers focused on cash donations spread out over a week. Each day during the week, the food drive went live from noon until 2 p.m. with themed programming scheduled throughout the rest of the day, including sports, music, and history. Prior to the start of the food drive, it was announced the goal would be $5,000. Well, it turns out ONTV severely underestimated the generosity of the Lake Orion community. Well, little did we know that the, um, the sponsors would come through like gangbusters for us. Uh, we had a record number, 16, this year, and large donations on their behalf to help sponsor uh, the food drive and to give the donations to fish. So we hit our collection goal on that Monday of $5,100 uh, already had in hand uh, before we went, in, we went even on the air for the first time. So we were really enthusiastic about we could really blow this number open um, so we upped it to 6,500 uh, midweek at the uh, suggestion of uh, Matt Pfeiffer, uh, owner of Northern Wholesale Flooring, um, who was a sponsor. And we did that, and we surpassed that goal, I think it was on Thursday night. Uh, we were above that 6,500 goal. And at the close of the food drive Friday uh, the 11th, uh, I checked our online donations, and it was at $7,100. Uh, but as you know, online, uh, online donations, they take some fees. So uh, I'd say we settled in on just about $7,000. In addition to cash donations, residents were also encouraged to fill the ONTV production truck, which was parked in the Orient Center parking lot. All of the food collected, as well as the money raised, goes directly to the Oxford Orient Fish Food Pantry, which is dedicated to helping those in need put food on the table. I'm overwhelmed right now. I cannot believe the amount of food that is here. I didn't expect this much. It, it's really because it was supposed to just be a financial. So the, the fact that we have this much food, it's quite overwhelming. Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking that I need a couple more volunteers. Yes, <laughs> it's very impressive. It just, you know, with the economy and everything that's going on right now, it's just the, the generosity of this community is just truly overwhelming. Yeah. What are uh, Fish's needs right now? Honestly, right now, anything that we can get. We, we will not say no to anything. The volume of food that is going out of the pantry right now is just astronomical with food prices right now. The clients, you know, the needs are really there between the food prices and the gas prices that, you know, the, the volume truly, and we've upped our volume of food that we're allowing our clients to take just because we know they need it. So, and we're able to meet the needs because of the generosity of this community. On the final day of the food drive, representatives of VFW Post 334 visited the studio to present a check for $1,200 to fish as part of their Adopt-A-Shelf program. And through Michelle's organization, hopefully the shelf that we sponsor, which right now is the Spaghetti, sp shelf. spaghetti shelf. Yes. And, uh, it's a very through, popular shelf, yeah. yes. <laughs> It'll get us through 2022 or next in 2023. And what we want like to do is challenge other organizations out there that there's plenty of other shelves that need sponsoring at Fish. And it helps from going out and trying to get the local donations, sponsor a shelf, and then you can stock it or Fish will stock the shelf, but $1,200 a year or $100 a month. The ONTV Food Drive helps keep the food pantry shelves stocked between the holidays and the upcoming post office food drive in May. That food drive has been canceled the past two years due to the pandemic, but the National Association of Letter Carriers is hoping to move forward in 2022, and the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive is tentatively scheduled for May 14th. From the Orient Center, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.